This is the Brandon Tatum Show. The Brandon Tatum Show on KTAR News 92.3 FM and the KTAR News app. Welcome back to the Brandon Tatum Show. If y'all don't already follow me on social media, you're making a huge mistake. Follow me on social media at the Officer Tatum. I always forget to plug my social media. It's it's always entertaining. It's good stuff. I talk a lot of trash on Twitter. Um, so make sure you go and follow me on all of my social media platforms. So I want to talk in this segment about my sister, somebody that, I mean, I literally consider her to be like my little sister because she's younger than me. Now, she's more big time than I am, but she's younger than me. Um, we were just at her wedding. Wonderful young lady. I want to talk about Candace Owens. Most people that are watching this probably already have seen the the um, congressional hearings, and ignorant enough, and, and uh, I'm, I'm I'm ignorant to this for for two reasons: of why in the world are we talking about white supremacy in a congressional hearing as it relates to the black community? Now, uh, on face value, one would think, yeah, white supremacy is 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 really hurting black people. The, the nature of white supremacy is affecting or negative negative towards black people but in reality growing up as a black man 32 years i what is white supremacy what what, a white man ain't never done nothing wrong to me and maybe they tried but in, in 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 my day and age it ain't like it was in the 60s I can drink out of the same water fountain as all my white friends i you know we we go to the same school same club same radio station Think about this for a minute. I bet a white man, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming a white man owned this thing. It ain't a black man. And if it is, I'm sorry, sir. But the people that's running the staff back here, a lot of, they're white people. They, they, and they love me. And I love them back. So this white supremacy in America, like I'm supposed to run around and have my head between, you know, my tail tucked between my legs, whatever you want to call it. I almost said something dirty, but I caught myself. It's, it's BS. But I want y'all to hear what Candace Owens said in a congressional hearing. I can't play it all. I wish I could, but I can't play it all because it'll take the whole segment. But she she just continues to hit people with haymakers. Make, making these politics. These are people that we elect and we, we, we swear by that they're the, at least the more intelligent people in our society that are going to legislate for us. And she make them look like, I'm not going to use that word. Just listen to what she got to say. Thank you, Chairman, for the opportunity to testify. Um, I just want to testify just as a a black American today. And uh, I want to first start off by saying that white supremacy is indeed real. Uh, But despite the media's obsessive coverage of it, it represents an isolated, uncoordinated, and fringe occurrence uh, within America. Facts. It's a fringe occurrence that is being used, in my opinion, by Democrats to scare Americans into giving up their votes to a party that can no longer win based on simple ideas. Facts. Which is why we're seeing so many of these hearings back to back, despite other threats that are facing this nation. I want to reiterate that point. White supremacy is real, just as racism is real, but neither of these ideologies are real in this room. They have become mechanisms for the left to continue to call these hearings and to distract from much bigger issues that are facing this country and which threaten minorities. And I want y'all to hear, I mean, facts. I almost forgot to say that, facts. What I want y'all to to listen to, because she's going to get into it and I'm going to expand on it, um, what are the things that are facing black America today? What you mean, we, we... White supremacy is definitely not affecting us at all. But what are the things that are affecting the black community that we should be having a hearing for? Let, let, let's, Candace, Candace, take it away. Much bigger issues that they are responsible for. White nationalism sounds a lot better as a threat than father absence. When are we going to call a hearing on the 74% of single motherhood rate in black America today? Facts. Listen, 70 plus percent. And back when Jim Crow and all this other stuff was going against black people, we had more young people being born into two parent homes than we see today. I think the the single parent rate was like 20 some percent. Now it's up in the 70s. Come on, Candace. My guess is probably never. Since Democrats are the author of that epidemic, which leaves us, black Americans, 20 times more likely to end up in prison, nine times more likely to drop out of high school and five times more likely to lead a life in poverty and to commit crime. what else, what what are they gonna say to this? I mean, I, I mean, you're you're having a, a a black woman tell you 
not only through experience, but through facts, what's really going on in our country, in the black community, and the things that we need to be addressing. And they want you to, they want us to believe that the, the white man, the boogeyman, is out here trying to hurt us. It's just, it's just not happening that way. Single parent homes is a problem. The education system has become a problem. When, when, when young people aren't, you know, I would graduate in high school or, or, or being found that they don't even have a 12th grade education or at least the knowledge or, or proficiency for a 12th grader, they don't have that. How are you going to be successful in this world? I, I've never in my life. Been, ro- been rolling through the black community uh, in the all black school I went to and all black community I lived in and was worried about what white people were doing. I didn't see white people. I saw black people. I have never walked outside and been like, man, I hope these white people don't do a drive by my house. I ain't never walked outside and, 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 and was more worried about police than I were about gang members. It just it's not occurring. And a lot of people try to push it on the people on the right. Mostly Democratic candidates or, and people say, you know, the Republicans. No, Republicans, to be honest, aren't even in your communities. It's the Democrats. If you want to talk about racism, talk about the Democrats. Don't talk about Republicans. Don't talk about white nationalism. You need to be talking about what the Democratic Party is doing to further the things that Candace Owens has said that made our communities bad. So not, not every community. I'm not saying every community. But a lot of our communities are struggling because of these factors. Now, I'm running out of time. He gave me the one-minute warning. We were joking in the break um, about what signs to give me so I can stop. And my girlfriend said if they put fried chicken up there that I'll probably uh, catch it a little better. But I called her racist, and she, she cut it out real fast. No, I'm just playing. I'm told, she did say fried chicken. We were joking, though. She's not a racist. Her white supremacy haven't shown through, at least not yet. I have a special guest coming up. In the next segment, my brother, Adrian Norman. Y'all better stay tuned because we finna get it in. We finna go hard in the paint. Y'all listen to the Brandon Tatum Show on KTAR. Brandon Tatum, KTAR News, 92.3 FM.